How's it going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be talking about strings in Rust. So strings are quite complicated in Rust. You have the two types, so the primitive type and the actual struct or the, the main string data type. But I'm going to be talking about the actual main one in this video. So um, to define one, you simply just say let my string or the name of your string um, equals string from and here you put the literal string. So for example, how's it going? My name is Dom. All right, so now we have a variable called my string with the data type string. Now there's quite a few methods you can use on strings. I'm just gonna go through a few here. The first one will be length. So we can find out the length of a string. We can say print line, length, then simply just call my string dot length and that'll print out the length of the string we can also do we can check if it's empty so is empty put down string is empty this will return a boolean so my string dot is empty we have that one i'll just run this and see how we go and we get the length is 31 and the string is not empty. We can also split the string by white space quite easily. So if we want to just get, you know, hows and then it and then going all separate, we can do this using the split white space method. It'll return an iterator. So using a for loop, we can do this for token in my string dot split white space. We then have each of these uh, tokens or these substrings split by white space in the token variable. So now we can just say print line and we'll print each token on a new line. So now we should see each of these uh, substrings printed out on different lines. And we see that right there. Now we can also check if a string contains another string by simply doing this. So we can say, okay, does the string contain DOM? Now we can put down here my string dot contains dom. That'll return a boolean true false, and we'll see how this goes. Hopefully we see true. Alrighty, what's going on here? Uh, okay, we need to put this right there. Let's try again, and we get true because this string does contain dom. So we can also um, push another string onto this string. So we can we can append to this string. By simply saying my string dot push string and passing in something here. So for example, welcome to your tutorial on strings. We'll spell that right. Tutorial. Okay. So we also for this one though we need to uh, set the string as mutable. So M U T in front of there, and we should be good to go. Let's try this one. Oh. Might have to just print out that new string. There we go. And we see the appended text right there. And that is all I wanted to go over uh, in terms of strings in Rust. There's a lot more things you can do. There's a lot more methods. There's a lot more, you know, different uh, things you can do with strings. But I thought I'd keep it quite basic and quite simple. Um, I'll leave a link to the documentation in the, in the description where you can go and check out the other methods for yourself. But thank you for watching. See you later.